Base here. The Eagle has landed. These grainy images and crackly words inspired generations. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong is the most famous of the Apollo astronauts as the first man on the moon, but the second is almost as legendary, Buzz Aldrin. We were there 20 hours. 20 hours. Landing to, to lift off outside two, two and a half. The men, along with the third astronaut on that mission, Michael Collins, all visited Australia in 1969, not long after the moon landing. We hope that uh, during our short stay here, we'll be able to share with you, uh, and I'm sure that with most of you here, it'll be on television, some of the uh, exploits that we've had in space. Australians went mad for them, with a ticker tape parade through Sydney and photo opportunities everywhere they went. Buzz Aldrin is back in Australia this week, still travelling the world as an ambassador for space exploration, trying to persuade governments to make space the priority it once was. All the early astronauts are the honourable space emissaries. And uh, so now I'm trying to uh, add to that uh, distinguished lunar pioneers for the golden... Apollo Legacy. Pretty good title to have on your business card. Oh, I, I have some good ones there too, yeah. Since the golden age of the space program during Aldrin's era, the United States has slashed NASA's funding. With its economy struggling, Congress has preferred to spend money on immediate needs in the here and now, like health and education. Buzz Aldrin thinks that's short-sighted given all of the potential risks to Earth's survival and he's pushing for an ambitious and very expensive mission to send people to Mars. When you look at the picture of the solar system and the opportunity that we have to begin to ensure the survivability of the human race, uh, Stephen Hawking, uh, a couple of years ago said uh, that his estimate was that we earthlings had maybe 200 years before something would, uh, <clears throat> in a major way, threaten the human race. Pestilence, uh, conflict, nuclear, uh, wiping out large numbers, or a major impact. For a major mission of the type that you've been discussing, is the future of that most likely to lie in the hands of a private entrepreneur rather than any government program? Private venture um, is looking for more than doing something first. They'd like to get somebody else to pay for it or uh, to find something to uh, be worth the investment that's been made. Uh, and I just don't think that we're really anywhere near there. The pressure of instant fame weighed heavily on Buzz Aldrin when he returned from the moon and he suffered for years from depression, alcoholism and relationship breakdowns. Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? He once even famously lost his cool when he was harassed by a moon landing denier. You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black if I ever thought of it. Saying Will I misrepresented myself. Get away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. I'd been in space before and I knew that there, uh, when astronaut comes back from a flight, he's, he's in the barrel, uh, something like that, which means he's going to go around and talk to different people. In the spot. Occurred a little bit after Gemini 12. Uh, but the first landing is going to generate a lot of activity, and I really didn't uh, uh, relish thinking about that. We either had to do it or fail. At age 85, he's made his peace with it all now, still one of only 12 people to ever walk on the moon. All these years later, I just wonder when you're driving on a road somewhere and you look out the window and there's the moon looking particularly beautiful and full and glowing or looking like a beautiful, you know, silver crescent moon. Do you think, I've been there, 
I know I've been there. I don't need to think, but I can't really make out exactly where we were. I know it's pretty close to the center. Does it give you a buzz still to think about? No, I, I don't think so. It, it's, it's a weird sense to look up in the sky and say, yeah, I've, I've been there. <laughs>